Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by once again. Today we have the last video for my 2015 beauty favorites and we are going to jump right in with some setting sprays. The first one that I have here is the e.l.f. Makeup Mission Set. This I don't necessarily use to set and hold my makeup for the entire day. I use this more so for setting my makeup in the sense of taking away that powdery, heavy look that you get after you've applied all of your makeup. This kind of just helps things to settle in, to smooth out, to just blend together a little bit better. It works great. And this is by this is probably my fifth or sixth bottle of this, so you know I actually really love this thing. Another one that I like a lot, I actually love, is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I think this is the only Urban Decay spray that I've used. I can't recall if I've used any others, but I really love it. Um, it's good for holding in your makeup. It performs well under heat, so if you live in a warm climate, if you have summers that are just ridiculous, give this a try. It helps your makeup to sit and hold a little bit longer. Now, the best of them all, even over the Urban Decay, is the Scandinavian Makeup Sprays. I have the Makeup Finishing Spray and the Makeup Primer Spray. So I apply this, or I spray this onto my face prior to putting any makeup on, Prior to even putting on my cream primers or anything like that, this goes on really nicely and it prepares the face for makeup and it also helps makeup to lock into the skin a little bit better. And then I have the finishing spray all, all control. I love all of the Scandinavia uh, finishing sprays that I've tried. They actually work. They actually really help your makeup to last long through whatever temperature that you're going through. I would say invest in this. They make the Urban Decay sprays, and the Urban Decay spray is actually really good, but the Scandinavia spray is just a hair better. Okay, so that's it for my setting sprays. Next, I have my blush, bronzers, and contouring products. For blush, I have first to show you these Sephora. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're called the Sephora Colorful Blushes. They should be the difficult to open blushes. But <laughs> these are them here. Um, I have Orange Pop and Fuchsia Flash. These are amazing. Uh, they're kind of under the radar. Um, I don't re really see very many videos about them or very many reviews about them. I actually purchased these in a little kit that Sephora had available at one point in time, so I got both of them. And I'm actually glad I tried them out because now I'm going to probably pick up a few more of these products. They're amazing. Um, I like colors. Uh, for deeper skin, I like orange and I like plum, burnt red type of colors because I think they look the best on deeper skin and they blend a little bit more seamlessly than other shades tend to. I have the Sleek Blush by Threes. I think I have all of them, all of the permanent ones right now. I love them. <laughs> I, I started with one or two and then it was like I had to have them all. I ordered them off of Amazon or directly from the Sleek Makeup website and they're just great. They're so highly pigmented. This one here that I'm showing you is in pumpkin, but this is just a representative of all of them because I love them all equally. And like I said again, I love the orange shades when it comes to like blush because they look amazing on deeper skin tones. And then another blush palette here is this e.l.f. Quad. This came out earlier in the year, I believe. Um, this one is in dark. There's a light one as well that I have, but this one, the shades in here are a little bit more mauve, a little bit more burnt plum. This is what I recommend if you have a deeper skin tone. So that's it for blush, and then let's move on to my bronzing and contouring type products. Let's talk about my bestie. This is my best friend. <laughs> when my makeup is acting crazy and it's just it's just not doing what I wanted to do or it's just not coming out exactly. Because you know you have those days where your makeup just doesn't come out the way you want it to. This is bestie, okay? This just comes in and just kind of sweeps onto my uh, bronzing area, my cheek area, my forehead. And this just makes me feel better. Um, it does have a little bit of sheen and I know people kind of are hesitant to try products or bronzing products that have shimmer in them but the shimmer in this doesn't show up like glitter on your face it kind of just makes your skin look healthy so that's what that's how i feel about it anyway that's the effect that it has on me 
I say get it. It's great. And then I have another sleek product. This is the sleek face form kit and this is in dark i also have medium but this dark contour yes if you are of a deeper complexion having difficulties go ahead and order this because this contour is really good and then you have these other two shades these uh bronzing and highlighting shades i use them both as highlighters great stuff and also if you can't you just simply can't find an actual bronzer or an actual contour for your deep skin i would say try some face powders this one here is the maybelline fit me in mocha this is the deepest shade that i have seen this powder in and i use this for light contouring and then another face powder is the becca skin perfecting mineral powder foundation in cacao this is I believe the deepest powder that I own, the deepest powder that I have found to work for deep skin. I believe, I don't know which one's deeper really. I think this and Ebony are about the same. Ebony looks deeper in the jaw, but when you apply Ebony, it's like, it's like chisel, you know? So I would say try some face powders out if you can't find good enough contouring shades. The these work amazing so again this is the maybelline fit me in 360 mocha this is ben nye's ebony translucent it says translucent but it, you put this on you will have a contoured face and this is the mineral the mineral powder foundation from becca in cacao great great for contouring lastly we have lip products so the first lip products that i have are the sephora creamy lip stains i believe they're called yeah sephora cream lip stains the two shades i have number one always red and number 13 marvelous mauve these liquid lipsticks i've tried quite a bit of lip, liquid lipsticks and i'm usually disappointed because there's something wrong about the formula that turns me off and puts me off from them but these i have no complaints i have quite a bit of the shades I wish they would come up with newer shades, but I have no complaints about these. And then from the drugstore, the drugstore, the Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams. Yes, Milani, for doing it right for the drugstore because I'm happy. I'm pleased. They are, in my opinion, comparable to the Sephora ones. And like I said, I've tried lots of liquid lipsticks, liquid matte lipsticks, liquid cream lipsticks, whatever version of the liquid lipstick that, that companies have put out, I've tried it, and most of them disappoint me. But these from the drugstore and the Sephora cream lip stains, they are winners in my book. For a matte lipstick, this is the lipstick that I am wearing today. This is the Maybelline Touch of Spice Matte Lipstick. I love the matte lipsticks from Maybelline. I also love the matte lipsticks from Milani, but the Maybelline mattes won out for me. They, they, they topped it a little bit better than the Milani, so I give it to the Maybelline mattes. And then for liner, I have the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips. This one is in Cabernet. This is my favorite lip liner and my favorite shade. I use this with reds, with pinks, with mauves. I actually have actually have this combination on today. The Touch of Spice with this Cabernet liner. That's my lip combination today. And I think that they work well together. <laughs> Obviously, that's why they're in my favorites, right? So yeah, those, I believe that's everything. I believe I covered it all. I believe I finished my 2015 favorites so yeah i i feel like i'm forgetting something but i think that's everything i hope that's everything if not i'll just put it in another updated favorites video let you guys know how i feel about it but if you have any comments leave them down below feel free to thumbs up this video subscribe if you are not subscribed and i will see you in another one thank you for watching bye